So we are in the car settings, which is right here, car settings. Click on that. And then there's this setting place where you have all of your normal settings. Brake wire for video motion, OSD and this and that, okay? But there's also a lot of different other settings like the GPS, and this is how you take off the loud beeping sound, key tone. Yeah, that's how you turn that off. Um, but there's also this settings, and I never could get into it. But the password is 3368. Now we're in to this secret setting menu that just has 360 switch. So if you have 360 cameras, I assume radar, if you have the little radars for, I think it's lane detection, but I'm not too sure. Reverse parking line, I checked it and it does add extra lines to my already camera that already has lines. So I turned that back off and then I turned that off now too. HD reversing video format, AHD, let's see what that does. Oh, that looks ugly. Wait. Let me try the, turning it back off. No, wait, that's not it. TVI. Okay, that looks about the same. Never mind. I don't know what that did. Anyway, you got all these other things that you can play around with, like AUX TV video. Unknown sources, I did allow unknown sources for apps that I do want to download, like off of Aptoid and stuff. I don't know the password for this, but I don't know why you want to do door lock interference anyway. Automatic start and stop, I don't really know what that means, so I'm not going to mess with that. AC information on and off. The door on and off, which I assume has to do with this. Let me turn it off and check. Yep, that is exactly what that is. And I'm just going to leave it on because it looks kind of cool for me, but maybe you don't like it. I changed my audio type to iPod. I'm going to see what the difference is because originally it came with aux. So I changed it to iPod, which I assume is Bluetooth like focus. So I want to see if that helps with the Bluetooth disconnecting as well as, okay, if you have the Bluetooth that just disconnects randomly, the only way that I figured out how to solve that is to go into your regular settings, not car settings, regular settings, and go to location and turn location off. And that seems to be the most effective way. I've also seen that the car model, you can change the car model so it boots up as a different car, but as you can see, this is booted up as a Honda Accord, which is what this car is in all the other states. Um, I just wish there was a way that we can change it to Fahrenheit, um, I might talk to the to the owner of the uh, the developer of this, pretty much the developer of the stereo, and see what we can make to see that happen. Current TV type, mm, we can have analog, digital. We I guess we can hook up a TV thing to this. One click setup. Uh, I'm not gonna really mess with that. CAN box upgrade, display calibration, let's see what that does. Ooh, okay, so we're just gonna save that as is. And MCU upgrade, so I think you might be able to actually get an uh, update for the Android for this if you do it via chip, I assume. That's the only way, yeah, SD card. Yeah, so I don't think you can download it from online. Panel key learning what that is oh okay so my panel keys are are hooked up like that so this just gives you like a a different thing okay let's go back ah uh, three three six eight okay so we're gonna continue going down the road with these settings the car model is the Honda Accord one click setup See you upgrade. So Bluetooth mic sensitivity is on high. Home launcher selection. I don't know what this would do. UI02. Oh. Okay. 
Let's go back. I don't. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Car info. Oh no. I don't like this. Um. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Go back. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I want to go back. <laughs> I want to go back. Okay, so I don't like the UIO2. Let's see if UIO3 is any better. Mm, it's not as nice. That's pretty cool though that they include this. Let's go back home. Maybe there's one that I will like. Organized space and widgets and wallpapers. Okay, this one doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look amazing Okay, so everything else seems to be the same just the UI changes in the way Hmm, I'm gonna go back to car settings Not really happy with that one either so I'm gonna go back to the original one that it comes with Okay, it just changed my background, but that's basically it. Hmm, not bad, but you know, I wish there was maybe more options than this. That would be cool. So, as you can see, that's basically it. Yeah, and you can you can put um you can put your own backgrounds, mainly the, the way that I do it is just, I have pictures downloaded that I uploaded through um, the USB port, which I, I don't know if I mentioned is in there. And, uh, and I just went to my gallery and uh, I basically put one of these photos, which uh, those are of my girlfriend, so I'm just gonna block those. Um, just have a bunch of her a bunch of her photos and um, I can pick whatever I want and uh, basically you just put wallpapers you can go to your gallery or you can choose from the preset wallpapers so if you want to go to your gallery it's basically a preset okay let's go back to the gallery just gonna turn you guys over here for now and I'm gonna pick the one that I had and we're gonna we're gonna click this button right here that will make it your wallpaper set successful it'll change it to your wallpaper and we're set and that's it so that's basically all I wanted to show you guys in this short video on the stereo which I, I basically learned uh, by seeing the actual developer of the car do it um, so that's the passcode that you need for that and uh, like I said for the Bluetooth again uh, go to settings, go to your actual car settings, go to uh, the actual tablet settings. And then you go and you turn location off, which is right there. And that'll keep Bluetooth from messing up or disconnecting in any way, like for sure. Um, but I'm going to try what the the iPod setting does. And I'll, I'll let you guys know how the iPod setting sounds as opposed to the aux. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, again, the, the developer themselves actually reached out in one of the videos and um, and I wanted to just follow up on what I learned basically and what I can show you guys and continue to show you guys. Um, let's see if I can do developer options with that passcode. Nope, no developer. Oh, never mind. You can do you can go to developer options okay USB debugging mode is on mock location app uh, basically everything that you wanted to do so this is also another thing that you could do with that passcode which is pretty nice but I mean that's only if you know you know Android and if, <laughs> if you want to root this thing but I, 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 I personally wouldn't want to root this um, which is like jailbreak for iPhones if you guys don't know what that is um, I think it is um, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatible so if you do have an iPhone don't get butthurt that this is only Android 
but it is pretty cool regardless with running Android and it works very well with iPhones. I think it works actually a little bit better with I iPhones when it comes to the Bluetooth itself. I don't have an iPhone, my girlfriend does, and that is how I know. Uh, Bluetooth tends to not disconnect as much with Androids as it does with iPhones, but it does disconnect and mess up sometimes on her iPhone, so it's not like it doesn't do it, it just doesn't do it as often. Um, but yeah, so that passcode also works with the developer options. Um, so if you want to, you know, mess around with developer options, you can. Um, I want to see if I can do the, the Android thing with the device. Mm, I don't think I can. Nope. Doesn't look like it has it here. Um. Yeah, it's not looking like it. Anyway, going back from that. Okay, wait. One more thing. Go back. Come on. Sometimes when it's hot and your hands are a little wet from your sweat, it doesn't have a very well haptic feedback. As you can see, my other hand's pretty dry. Um, it works very well. And on a hot day like today, 34 degrees Celsius, which is... I don't even know how much Fahrenheit it is, but it's it's hot. It's very hot today. I wish I, I want to tell the developer <laughs> how I could possibly get an update for that that would be amazing for us in the USA that only use Fahrenheit and uh, for a second I did use the signal off of this and uh, I could tell what the temperature was but then it overtook the signal and only the signal is coming from here so either we get the signal back from here and no signal here because for us in the USA it would be better to see it in Fahrenheit than to learn Celsius and have to deal with you know the whole different a different way of that um, so yeah I was just messing around with the settings today not really much of a, a like a better video than normal not really any worse um, so yeah there was a lot of settings that I couldn't really mess around with because I did not know the passcode which again is 3368 and uh, I'll probably have it engraved in my memory now <laughs> from typing it in all those times uh, but yeah, so you got all these all these settings like you would in your phone and your tablet and about device So you got your Android version. Oh, this is what I was trying to do in developer options Boom, you got your marshmallow um, You can do that with any Android device if you click on Android version like tap it a couple times car application information serial number all the g good stuff that all the nerds wanted to know developer options 3368 and then you're back into developer options actually I didn't press ok and yeah so you got a lot of things that you can mess with enable bluetooth snap log um captures all bluetooth huh that's weird ok so there's a lot of things Capture all Bluetooth HI packets in a file. I don't really want that, so I'm going to leave that back off. Uh, USB deb debugging, I do want that. Select a beat debugger app. Um, you know, you get the idea. Two different things that you could use for that same passcode, which is this setting, which is the normal settings that you can apply. Uh, these ones are your basic ones. And yeah, so I was just messing around with the settings. Again, if you guys subscribe, I could make more of these videos, and it actually got the attention of the developers and creators of this stereo, which I find to be awesome, and uh, which makes me think that I'm doing something good, in a way, um, um, letting you guys know how to fix things, and uh, basically, I'm giving this a good review, so I'm not expecting anything from the developer, aside from <laughs> changing that to Fahrenheit. If there's any way to do that, or if there's any way to actually just change the signal back over here so that I can actually see it in Fahrenheit. And it can be in Celsius over here, but it's so long as it can be in Fahrenheit over here so that I know what temperature it is. Um, it's just a little thing, but you know, I think it would help us out a lot in the USA. Um, there is no, uh, there is no, 
there is no Acura. Since this is a Honda Accord, uh, that is why it is in Celsius. Um, there is no Honda Accord when you go to car, car, uh, basically the car model. Yeah, so if you go here, there's like a whole different kind of car models that you can change it to. Um, and as you can see, it's the Accord 7, which is the uh, the TSX, the 04 to 08. And then the Accord 9 is the, uh, basically the 09 and up until it discontinued and became the TLX. Um, so I don't know what a, I don't know what a Spire is, but sounds pretty cool anyway that is it for this video again subscribing would help me out a lot um, even the, the developers subscribed yesterday and I'm, I'm like freaking out still about it but you know I think that's cool um, they just recently released uh, Acura TL uh, Acura TL it's like a Tesla style um, actually stereo which is pretty cool it's a lot nicer well nicer than this I think I think you could make it a Tesla style like right here but you know I don't know how nice that would look anyway hit me up developers if, if you can you know hook me up with a with a TL <laughs> TL stereo I seen it up on your store for like six hundred dollars I know it's pretty much new and stuff but you know I'll give it a good review for sure if you guys help me out um, you know I'll continue making these videos for you guys uh, anything more that I do to the stereo um, somebody did mention that they wanted me to try out Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for this stereo uh, well and he said he'd shoot me some cash but you know um, that's if I ever get to it uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto the little dongle is $30 and I have to make sure with the developer in case it works. Uh, I'll, I'll shoot a link in the description of the develop, the developer's channel. Maybe there's more fun stuff that you guys could figure out. That's actually how I figured out the passcode, 3368, um, is, was because of their channel. Otherwise, I would have probably never found it, never knew, and never could have shown you guys this neat little hidden menu that you could otherwise not access. Um, but yeah, so that is it the Navi, the the radio, all that other good stuff, other videos if you guys want to see that. And then, <laughs> don't mind me, I am going to turn on the AC now. Ah, uh, it froze. Well, I guess that's just a protocol to just turn off the video now. See you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want more videos like this one.